Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Crusader Kings. No, this is Caveman to Cosmos. I haven't played Crusader Kings in such a long time. It's coming up due. Probably when this series is done, I'm gonna do another Crusader Kings role-playing, but who knows when this series is gonna be done. I like I like to have one like long form game and one shorter form game. Right now I've got uh, Star Traders and this it kind of fulfills both roles. That way I've got turnover, right? If I'm doing Crusader Kings and this at the same time, then it's going to be those two games for like a hundred episodes each. I like to have more variants in the channel, so I, I, tend, I try to keep it that way. Um, but this is Caveman to Cosmos, and what are we doing? So I was thinking a little bit, whoa, I, the game crashed again. Um, I had to reload it, which is why it's reloading the map. I'm currently trying to cut off their capital, which, I mean, if we go to peace, like immediately after they're going to rebuild their roads, but... So like, it's not probably not worth it. It's probably not really worth the hassle that I'm putting into doing this. But I'm so curious. I don't know. I just want to. I just want to fuck with them. I just want to mess with them. So we're gonna continue doing that. Next turn, we're gonna grab nationalism here. It's gonna unlock nationalist and gold standard. I don't know about. I don't know if we're gonna switch any of those, but gold standard maybe. We've been stuck with um. Was it banknotes? For such a long time. I did switch to paper money last time and was not really impressed with it. And uh, I think my assessment of that is correct as well. Um, we're also, you know, going to continue trying to take Bersiris here. He's got no military units in this city, which is a problem, right? We need to kind of clear this area out before we can really give it, like, abandon it. I mean, we, we, you know, maybe we can leave, like, one or two guys here and just hold it onto that. We're also, I mean, we're killing a lot of these units as well. Clockwork Golem hanging out over there. Um, getting our cities kind of in order as well, but you, as much as I would love the work, uh, apprentice workshop, I think we are going to just go and build the Louvre. It's going to take 70 turns, but I've got a lot of slaves here. And I'm going to use them to rush. Okay, it wasn't that much. <laughs> um, it, it wasn't that big of a bonus, actually. And now I'm kind of stuck with it. Um, I could do the Apprentice Workshop first, which I think I'm going to do. If I could find it now. Um, let's do my name. Apprentice Workshop. Let's make you first. And I will pay for you. Yes, yeah, so it's not cheap, but it's okay. Don't mind spending the money. Don't mind spending the money at all. Um, other than that, I think I'm still pretty content with the general situation over here. We've got unhappiness all over the place. We've got health problems all over the place. But we're at war. We're not going to worry about that. Nationalism will see us through. Now, this doesn't replace patriarchy, which I'm still using. And it feels a bit absurd that it's, uh, in my eyes, is more powerful than any of the other civics. If you think otherwise, I mean, uh, let me know down in the comments. Like, should I be switching out? Should I be trying some other stuff there? Like, I... I don't know. It just doesn't. It just does not seem worth it. This we will check out one day. You'll give me Clockbon Kublai Kublai Khan. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see the big picture. Maybe we go to gold standard. You also gave me nationalism. Did you not? I don't know which uh, which that is. National. So out of bourgeois, which does what? Extra hammers, extra culture. Which is nice. Also getting extra com commerce from a lot of things is pretty great. Nationalist. Free military units, we can draft, we get more combat experience, less war unhappiness, more trade routes. Happiness. We get... Yeah, okay. Um, doesn't seem that interesting to me, actually. 
think I'm happy to stick with nationalist. Or sorry, stick with bourgeois. Oh, it's minus one trade routes. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. However, this, to the gold standard, we get more stuff from trade routes, more happiness in all cities, more foreign trade route yield, which we don't get a huge amount of. We do lose that 10% gold everywhere, but we can build gold vaults. I'm willing to try it. We're going to take a money hit probably right away. <laughs> yes. Yes, we did. A lot of stuff is obsolete. We can build heavy cannons now, which is pretty cool. The Hermitage. Lots of culture. Taj Mahal starts a golden age. We'll thank that. Uh, the gold vault in our capital. 15% in all cities. Yes, that'll, that'll do it. That will do it. A bunch of cultures as well. Alamo. Adds base strength of units killed as culture in all cities. Interesting. And Westminster Abbey, which is probably also quite good for that extra culture in there. Nationalist and gold standard. We want to immediately build uh, this gold vault. That's, we're, we're just going to jump right to our capital when we can. Um, antique shop is up there. Um, I do feel like I just really need money, though. Beadmakers, sure. You can heal up. Um, I'm going to jump to my capital. Post office is pretty good, but I don't think it compares to the treasure. I assume that's going to be here. Gold vault. Please just build that right now. I'll even spend money. Not 10,000 though. Not for three turns. Yeah. We're, we're, we're at a huge deficit. We will be sustained by our trade merchants. Um, yeah, you guys move there, you guys move there, that's fine. You're building a mine. Oh, I thought I shift clicked at that, but apparently not. Um, we'll let everybody heal up, and in the meantime, we'll just smash into people and reduce these armies over here. There's a couple of knights, another big army moving in this direction. care about those apothecaries but I do want eh, we'll just we'll just wait with everyone here select all units I'll just tell them all to chill out for a moment you guys are doing great Whoop here pillage and pillage cut them off they may still be able to trade this way but once I take that other city they will not um, you guys, yeah, come smash that, please. And you're gonna do also the same situation. Just take out their roads. Take out all their roads, please. Yes, this is how I will survive until that gold vault is finished. Beautiful, beautiful trade missions. Egypt. Yeah, you are making a lot of units, that's for sure. That is for sure. The next war, I think, is going to be a little bit harder. Maybe. Maybe it will be. But I am going to knock them... I am knocking them down a little bit, right? They, they still have a huge amount of cities. I mean, these cities are all quite, quite impressive down there. But that's fine. I mean, maybe I should take this one. But I think I want to... I've got so much unhappiness right now. Let's chill out on that a little bit. The Louvre is still doing its thing. Um, I would like to... Hmm, how long? 44 turns. This was a mistake. <laughs> this was a mistake, but whatever. We'll just let it finish. Maybe we can get some more slaves. We don't get slaves like we used to, do we? Anyways, replaceable parts coming in. Possibly we can upgrade uh, some of our units as well. Something to consider, but I mean, the units in the field, I don't think we can, so. This is going to be my last rec record, recordation? Recording session uh, before, um, you've attacked, ah, uh, Barbarossa and uh, the Sharpshooter have successfully defended themselves. They will probably die out there, unless we can get to peace. 
Which I won't do until we um, take that other city. Well, no, not Freeport is up. Great. Get so, so many people that we can build now. Really what I need is money. Above all else, I just need money. Gem cutter. Gem cutters give lots of money. That sounds great. Um, and I'm going to queue up a bunch of money buildings, I think. If I can. Let's, let's take a look at your properties real quick. You might need... Um, nope, your crime is fine. Your disease is cry fine. Your education is okay. I wouldn't mind getting it up a little bit more. Mm, let's see what we can do to affect education directly. Maybe we can get... Um, A museum here or something? It's a bunch of labs. Apothecary Guild. Carpenter's Workshop. I'm still curious about these things. Can I just build them all? I mean, I'll build this. And then it's just into money. And I want... More gold. Master watchmakers. Um, the accounting firm you can handle now, I think. The hotel, for sure. Gem cutter. Spice voyage. We don't want the brothel still. Or the loan shark. Black aware hut is okay. We don't give that much money anymore, though. We'll, we'll leave it at that. I think we can leave it at that. Uh, Colosseum is built in Iquitos. That helps a lot with the happiness, doesn't it? Um, probably, yeah. Get the city hall, city council. No, you cannot join the Javaro. And the galleons are just going to go to sleep, I think. You guys can move down here. Same with you. Got a lord here who can come in and smash a knight. Always good to do that when you can. You can even move out with this group. All right, come over here. Let's let's make sure that we can successfully cut this city off. Because you guys are getting a bit haggard, I gotta say. You're looking a little haggard there. Destroy the windmill. Destroy the road. Do you guys have any military units here yet? You do not. Okay, well, we're ready to go. These two slaves, you can gift. I'll leave my, uh, I'll leave these things. That should probably be enough, actually. Now, can I get through here without taking damage per turn? It's actually quite difficult to attack this place this way. Isn't it? I kind of need to go this way, but oof. We're gonna, I think, have to just deal with this. Take some damage, rest up, and then move into here. 15 per turn is not pleasant. And then this way, bloop, bloop, bloop. Let's see. Three, four, five, six. So it takes one extra turn, but we're not going to take actual damage. Yeah, okay, let's do that. You guys are just going to fortify. Hopefully you can hold on. Um, give me the, the forest or whatever. You're just going to blow stuff up. Blow stuff up and then hold out. Great, 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 great. One more turn, we're actually going to cut them off completely, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, their capital will no longer be connected to their trade network. Is this their capital? It, it, probably not, actually. I thought, I thought I saw a star next to it, which I was like, oh, that makes it the capital. But now that star isn't there anymore. It was in Alexandria. I'm curious. Oh, they killed the... Uh... 
They killed the sharpshooter. And I suspect that Barbarossa is gonna die in the field. Hopefully not falling from his horse and drowning because he's wearing heavy armor, like he did in real life. I mean, Egypt, we're actually the Turks here, which is a bit funny, but... That is how he died. Barbarossa. Very important man in uh, Hamburgian history as well. Um, your education is... Mm, okay. The book publisher will be nice. And a museum. And then more money buildings. Again, we're just gonna go with... Whoever gives the most right off- Wow, jewelry stores are incredible! As well as hotels. Okay! Jewelry stores? Dude! Required to build goldsmith guild. Jewelry stores. Um, Mishana? You got a lot of pissed off people still. I mean, this will all get better, I think. Um... When you can... Well, you already have a Colosseum as well. A Confucian Temple? Confucian Temple. Once we're, once we're no longer at war, right? Then things are gonna kind of pick up a little bit. But uh, we're just gonna leave you guys here, I think. I don't think we need to march you out. Same thing with you. Um, you guys... First... Village. Great. And, um, what's that? Just some sticks in the sky? Okay. You guys can come here. And pillage. You have now been cut off, sir. Uh, oh, oh, what did I just end there? A caravel would like to level up. Okay. You don't want me to do that. Um, you can also... Just turn into a frigate. Barbarossa, Barbarossa, Barbarossa. You're out here all on your own. I will give you the plus one movement range to help you escape. Because now you can go there, and this guy can come guard you. Not that he's so strong either, but. Better than nothing, I suppose. Um, let's go here. And pillage. Pillage, pillage, pillage. And you guys are done. Alright, army. They've moved in, into, in front of me. Okay. Looks like we left behind our warlord. They do still have this army here. Just sitting. Not doing a damn thing. Kind of ridiculous. Um, please keep me afloat. Until I can get this treasure, uh, this gold vault done. Next turn, we're at minus 1,000. And that's gonna go... Positive? Minus 500. Not as much as I was hoping. Not as much as I was hoping. Yeah, we're, we're still we're still bleeding money. Again, our trade missions are going to continue allowing us to just, uh, just probably make money. Actually, I mean they're, they're still going to keep us moving forward, but still, I'm not super happy. And I'm I'm slowly running out. Okay. Well, not true. I keep thinking I'm running out of um, some of those. A uh, fiat currency. But we just changed to the gold thing and we built that in Istanbul. But we might as well go ahead and look at this as well. Fiat currency gives 5% gold in all city, 5% commerce in all city. Minus 10% foreign trade route. Why in God's name would you ever pick this over gold standard? This is so much better. So much better. I don't even get credit. Which also doesn't seem... Doesn't seem better than the gold standard. Post-currency energy? Wow. I'm not gonna... 
not gonna go down that hole and look at that. Workshops, windmills, water mills all get better. Inventors workshops get better. We can do textile mills. Um, which don't seem like they give that much money. Place the seamstress hut, but they don't. They don't seem to make, give you that much more money. Pinball arcades. You can actually do that, but they seem pretty useless. Wind water pump. Cities require 10% less to grow and minus 10, well, that's not bad. And cottage industry, 10% hammers. That sounds great. Fiat, yes. Industrial lifestyle with a bunch of other stuff, which we are now moving towards. And then we get industrial lifestyle. Rock garden is built here. You're still pissed off like crazy though. Still super, super pissed off. No, not super, but definitely, definitely uh, having some issues there. Your crime is also going up quite a bit. But our maximum security prison will take care of that, won't it? Though short. Let's get market scales. It's cheap. It's very cheap. Um, and now we just need health, man. Health is super bad. And I'm going to get a bunch of just cheap stuff. A whole bunch of cheap stuff. Uh, we don't necessarily want these temples, though, I think. Um, I will take an idol. Don't need the perfume maker. Don't need the aqueduct. The sewer system. Um, orphanages are, are actually always pretty good. As our foundations... Hostels are nice. They help with crime, too. Okay, I'm happy with that. You got a lot of things to build now, my friend. A lot of things. Um, you guys are going to just march over here. Well, are you? We could just take this city, too. <laughs> or burn it. It's going to take a long time. Probably not worth doing. Uh, and fortunately, you guys have lived, and you can join up with this army, and just heal for a little bit. Uh, you've leveled up. Give me... Um, do I really care? Movement? Fine. Just go back to hunting. Warlord. You have to rejoin our people here. So now we actually have to wait a turn. And bombard the crap out of them. I mean, I think I'm just gonna leave it. Would love it if you would actually garrison this city, but we have reinforcements coming. Come on. And actually, this these guys are also gonna just come. We'll leave back the two who can no longer move, but we'll send the rest. We need the reinforcements. We do. Um, this galleon, you've brought a whole bunch of dragoons, which is cool. And now you can just sleep. This Janissary, you're going to go there. The Dragoons, on the other hand, you're all just going to group up. And you're going to just start pillaging again. You guys, I think, are going to have a pretty good time about it. And be able to just pillage the crap out of all of this. That's cool. I like that. And uh, we are out of time. So, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Next time... We're going to slowly keep working towards Brissiris. I really want to take it because that strategic location is just beautiful. Just beautiful. So we're going to push forward for that. And then make peace, I think. And then we're going to make peace. But now we got Dragoons to go and pillage the countryside, which I'm also pretty excited about. So stick around for that. Until next time, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.